Hey everybody, it's JJF Jim, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines here in our tutorial slash let's play series of Vanilla Skylines. And as you can see, we are short of water. And no, the pipes are all connected. The problem is that we are actually short of water. We do not need it. We do not have enough water or sewage. So let's connect another water source right off the bat. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do today. And there we go. It snaps. Notice how it snaps right to the line. And that's really nice because then you don't actually have to build uh, another pipe. It will just automatically connect and start flowing all that lovely nastiness. Perfect. So our water's good. Electricity is okay. Trash is less than good. I'm actually gonna get down another um, recycling center right there, I think. Hopefully that will help boost that a little bit. A little bit, but not enough, actually. So, if we're producing 74,000 units a week, and, but we can only process 48,000. What is this process? 24, I see. But this is just collecting trash. It'll be okay. With the two of them, it's the it's just the processing that is low, but we'll we'll get there. So I think for this episode, I would like to start moving along a little bit quicker of a pace if we can. Uh, I think we were dabbling a lot. I want to be able to hit these milestones quicker. And while it was really nice doing it, we will, you know, we'll stop and smell the flowers and do some things. We'll still be building very, very beautifully as much as we can. But I would like to try and get some more neighborhoods down and start getting some of these milestones so we can explore more, th more things in an episode. So let's dive right to it. I would like to have another um, giant area over here. And then I think we'll end up crossing the highway at some point and getting some rail down. But we don't have access to rail until... 7,500 people. So we're, we're a little bit of ways away from that yet. We need to basically double our population. So let's get to it. So last time, of course, we were started to put in some infrastructure for some of our new um, areas here. And I think what we'll end up doing is cutting it off right here in terms of residential. Because we have this... I, I, I want... I don't want to build this up here because I don't know what this is going to be yet, right? We kind of put in this weird little like road situation over here and I'm not super impressed with it. So I don't want to commit to this. And as soon as we can get um, incinerators, which we can get in uh, 5,500 population, as soon as we get that, I want to put an end to this or at least move it to a more permanent location, which is maybe like right here. Uh, the, close to the highways is usually good, especially since if you don't have like other people building around there. So um, we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want this road to be the end. So if we do build more industrial over here, we can have a little bit of a barrier before people uh, are living there. So let's make this an asymmetrical road coming straight down like so i think i might actually make this an asymmetrical road as well just because this road might get used a bunch so we are listening to the surviving mars radio station that you can find on the surviving mars game which is also a paradox uh title always silly as usual Yeah, you know, yeah, that works. You know what, I think I want to actually switch this. I want the two lanes to be going in. There we go, one back out this way. This also might change. That also might change. So, let's do our due diligence here. Connect these. Then, I'd like to actually take this into an avenue and make it go there. We are working in sort of a boxy structure, but I think we'll have some kind of a fun road that comes through and, and to change that up a little bit. 
but we'll see. Also, these curves offer some of that variation as well. But let's start getting some, some neighborhoods here. So let's start by going like so. And let's do that. I think... You know what? Just for the sake of... Let's do that. Then these will go this way. And that will do that, which is fine. So maybe we just go this way. And then we'll just go like this. Perfect. There we go. And what's nice about this... I'm actually curve this one. Like so. What's actually nice about this too is then we only we don't have as many um, intersections off of our avenues, which is which is really really good. That's what we want. And I think for this, I'm gonna do a little um, cul-de-sac feature that I like to do. Um, have I talked about the cul-de-sacs yet? Oh, I don't think I have. Okay, so. This might not be the perfect area for it, but let's talk about it now. So, I don't like dead-end roads. Um, so, what I like to do is create my own version of a cul-de-sac, um, is what we call it, at least in the United States. I don't know what you would call this uh, uh, um, uh, in any other countries, but basically what it, what it is, is I'm, I'm trying to mimic as best as I can in the game by having not a dead end road, but basically a place where, you know, people live on like a circle, right? I guess you could just call it a circle. So what I do is I, I go out by two units. I take my um, curved road, two units, go up by two units and see how it just snaps right to it. It will snap to that two, okay? Two out again. Two. Like that. And so then what that does is that gives you a really nice little sort of a roundabout, but I have these two way and then you can put some trees in the middle and then houses can go along the outside. And that's really, really nice. Right. Have I not seriously not done that? Man, it's crazy. So anyway, and it looks really nice from above. Right. And it's not just a dead end road. It just doesn't end, you know, and it avoids us giving an intersection and allows for more zoning on the outside. So, do we have water over here? We do not have this all watered. So let's finish this up. Great. Cool. All right, so we have another little tiny residential area here. That's gonna be really good. Um, let us... So I guess what we need to decide is, is if we want commercial to be zoned on this avenue or not. We could not um, and do something similar to what we've done over here, which might be good. Or we could zone right on it and just maybe zone on one side or, you know, we can kind of figure that out. So for now, I think I'm going to zone right on it. I'm not too concerned if it gets really bad. Then we'll have to figure it out. But for now, let's do that. I'm going to want um, residential. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to do this whole thing right now. I'm just going to do these little bits like that. Then what we're going to need is more services. Because currently, I don't believe there's coverage for any of this stuff here. So let us get in a hospital or a clinic rather. Let's put the clinic right there. We actually don't have a clinic over here, do we? Well, let's get one over here. There, all the smiles. Let's get a cemetery. I'm going to put that right off of this, I think. There we go. This currently doesn't have power, 
So we're going to need to... Um, actually, you know what? I think... Hmm. Let's actually go like that. And hope that this will fill in. Or I guess we could put the fire department over here. Let's do fire... Hmm. We'll fire there. Police... Right over here. Actually, I'm going to put police right here. Uh, like there. And hope that I can get that all to jump. And that should jump very soon. Come on. Just one more. Come on. Oh, it's agonizing. Something's just got to pop in right there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now it's connected. Perfect. So that was that last one where it takes a while. All right. So these guys are coming in. Our residential is plummeting, but our, our commercial remains constant. In fact, it's actually growing. Okay. Well, then, I think along here we can add some more bits. And along here as well. Now, we're going to probably want to move these uh, at a later stage. Only because these are very loud and the residents who live here are not going to really be jazzed about that whole situation. This needs power. There we go. At some point, we'll be able to get rid of all these power lines and we won't have to deal with all that stuff. So that would be really nice, but... For now, <clears throat> have to deal with the power lines. Okay. So we do have more industrial demand, so we can add just a little bit more to our farming area. Um, I'd like to maximize my zoning squares here if I can. Okay, so let me put... That might be too much, actually. Let me, um, I'm going to actually back that up. I don't want to put down too much. Because remember, as we kind of mentioned, if you if you pop down too much, then you're going to have the constant issues with not enough workers and all of that. So let's just see how much that impacts. Oh, it's actually going up. Wow. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. We we're gonna need probably another connection right here to get on and off the highway. Let's take a look at that. Um, okay, I guess we can zone a little bit more. Oops. It's a lot of farming. And like I mentioned last time, we'll re we'll redo this, um, and probably get an arm that is going directly out, and possibly even directly in to this industrial area. Because like I said, I, I don't really want to make this that much bigger, but maybe it will have to. I don't know. Or we shift it to a different area. You know. All right. Let's put down some more. We have a lot of. It's very healthy growth right now. So let's pop down some more um, residential, but we should get some more services. So like a school, um, elementary school right there. And then for the sake of it, let's put a park. Perfect. And a, oh, we don't have, oh yeah, we, we have high schools. So what am I talking about? So let's get down a high school. I'm gonna actually put the high school like, Let's go there with it, and then let's get down the basketball court next to it. That will give us another park. That will make this area very happy. Still have a lot of industrial demand. 
Oh boy, yeah, this area is filling up quite fast here. Filling up quite fast. I may stretch this to the to the um, the river, but then I don't know if because uh, hmm. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what's inside of here. Perhaps we could do some sort of like a mall or or some sort of shopping experience inside of here, versus or like maybe even like a concert venue instead of actually doing. I don't know, like housing and things, or more industrial. Although if we do a concert thing, it that that increases the amount of traffic quite heavily. So maybe we don't want to do that. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna actually back that up. There we go. Freeze up those zoning squares again. We can fill those in. Oh, they're just popping in right away. We may want to do this sooner than later. But um, we'll see. We're going to hit our next milestone any minute now. That'll be good. Lots of upgrades you can hear. Yeah, this is very thick. Very thick. Hmm. But, I mean, it's still flowing. It's it's flowing. It's just this intersection is very close. So, it's possible we don't want to do... It's possible we want to eliminate that intersection altogether. The problem is this dump. If we can get rid of the dump, then we can get rid of this intersection. But, we need the... What is it? 5,500? Or 7,500? Oh, there we go. We got Big Town. So we get another tile that we can uh, purchase, unlock. Taxation policies, more buildings. We now have new office specializations for IT cluster, which I'll show you more about that later. We have Metro and Blimp, a um, bunch of uh, leisure specialization, and then we also have a bunch of new policies. We now have high density, which is really, really good. We do get the incinerator, so now we can start unloading um, that dump and get rid of it. A university bunch of um of the like blimps more power stuff things like that all right cool okay so first thing i think we do need to get one of these down and let's um mm, let's put them let's put them here I'm going to put down a couple of them. I know it's going to make them upset. And then we will unload and empty this building so we can get rid of it. As quick as we can. Great. So now, citizens will start demanding a uh, university, higher education. And I think what we could do is we could make that actually right here. Hmm. So what if we were to go straight, or I can't go straight. Hmm. Mm. Well, in that case, what if I just did this, and then a little out, add a, let's see, 140. Oh, I guess we're just gonna eyeball this. An in and an out. In and then out. Yeah, I don't know. Just to mix it up a little bit. Could maybe like throw a little bit of a park and things inside of there. All these like old cars that's sitting there. Okay. So what I like to do is sort of make a campus area. When I'm making a when I'm making a campus, and what it allows us to do when we get the university is it allows us to put in more office buildings because now we have high density stuff. So we're gonna be able to throw in some apartment complexes and larger buildings for our, our people to live in. Which maybe we have a, a little bit of that, or along the coast here we can have some some high density apartments, things like that. But we do have a, a very large demand for the industry right now, and if we can avoid doing more of this and potentially more offices, 
that would benefit us because the offices do not create as much traffic. 63%. Once it gets to zero, we can get rid of it. And that will be great. Okay, I'm going to do a little of that. This is, yeah, this is all backing up here because as you can remember, see, because this road really isn't being used this way anymore, right? Like, you can only go here to turn right. So really, this side of the road is barely being used. It also slows down traffic right here coming in because they have to drive into the garbage dump. Because what's happening right now is these garbage trucks are pulling in, they're pulling out, and they're coming down here, and they're dropping off the stuff at the incinerator. So it's just a little bit of a mess right there. So what I like to do for um, university areas is, let's see, let's go straight. Okay. Then let's go out by 10 on either side. And then I'll take the university. I think we'll drop down the regular one. I think this might be cheaper. 75,000, 1920. Yeah. Although this one is better looking. This Modern Technology Institute. Oh, what the hell? Let's live a little. Okay, so there we go. This thing looks really handsome. MTI. It's a very, very cool building. This came with the Green Cities DLC. And it fits, look at that, right in the center. Very, very cool. All right, so now that we have that down, that will make the citizens very happy. Let's put down some offices, I think. Let's do a asymmetrical road, and let's just go like that. And, um, hmm. I almost want to make, like, a square like that. Because there's a park called, like, the official park or whatever. Don't remember which one that is. Right here. Official park. So I'm going to put this right down, because this, for our office buildings, it's very, very nice. Then we can go like this. Well, all of our office needs. And I'm going to leave that blank, because this, I figure, is going to be like a place where you can go and, and like, you know, sit on your break. Do all those things. In fact, let's go into our parks. Let's see, park. Go to the assets. There are these park tiles. And what we can do is set these down. These came with the new Park Life DLC. I guess that's not new anymore. I guess I don't really know what new is. I don't know when that uh, runs out. This is like small little, just just kind of thinking about, you know, not, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? But just kind of thinking about these real areas and how they might look and thinking about, you know, the niceties that you can have for people. And just always be thinking about parks because early on when I started playing this game, now there is a little bit of wonkiness happening with these, but that's okay. Early on when I started playing this game, I, I didn't really think too much about parks. Like, I always kind of forgot about them. But they're very important. And while this isn't necessarily going to give us any boost it does break up things a little bit because these offices are going to get taller but it's just nice to have that little base here right we can put a fence around this i think for for our purposes i'm just going to put in some um of the 
Let's see. I don't know if we can fit. Nah, see, it's gonna... It's tight. Just a couple trees, though, to maybe hide the, the, the tear, sort of, in the concrete. Sometimes you have to be a little persistent, but uh, you, can, you can get there. nice little little area there and what's nice is because this is sort of on a slant it it kind of the way the buildings are zoned it kind of creates like a very interesting look to them and that brings down our industrial demand just a little bit and you can sort of you know we can play it you know we can play pretend a little bit right and imagine these are the offices that support the industrial farm areas you know things like that all right so let's Pop in some more residential. Its motion and its behavior in time and space. Astrophysics is the science of things like dark matter, a form of matter that think we may end up putting some more high density. Um, I don't know if I want to zone on this side if it we're looking out to the river, but we may want to zone some high density um, residential there. Be nice, but yeah, as I, as I said in the last episode, we do want to leave a little bit of this space because we, in the future, we may want to put you know like a dirt road going along here or just like some paths, things like that. So let's just leave it open to ourselves, you know, let's not shut ourselves off too much. Okay, let's continue. I don't want to zone there, but I do want to zone. On this roundabout. Right there. But not in the center. There we go. I think instead of... Oops. I think instead of zoning that, we may put something else there. Actually, let's just make this a little commercial area. Right inside there. So, okay, right. We gotta finish this, though. So, this otherwise, this, this, this doesn't look right. How did we get sidetracked from this? Oh, we were building the industrial. See, this game, this game kind of pulls you in all directions sometimes, but it's always lovely because of it. Oh, we can't do that. Right, because of the cemetery. Well, that's fine. Let's just continue on like that. Same deal. And then... It's going to create two different traffic lights. But let's go to our junctions and say... Oops. Make that a stop sign and that a stop sign these also do not need to be traffic lights in fact that can be a stop sign there nothing there no no yeah okay cool um and then so to create sort of more of that campus feel in the university buildings i don't remember what dlc this came with i honestly cannot tell you which dlc this came with i want to say i don't even know what i want to say i have no idea 
but there's these little faculty buildings. So these actually operate as universities. But they're very small and you can kind of put them around places. To me, they look like either other, you know, campus buildings that you go have classes in, or what I also like to do in the university, which is very expensive and, and not necessary at all, but also just plopping the other university down because that also looks like another building. Or you can even put like a high school and an elementary school in here because they look like different buildings. And you know, kind of use your imagination there. There are also lots of park assets that you could use. Like you could have the botanical gardens or in the, where is that? Where is that? Right, um, on these separate things, they have vertical farms and we have a biodome which are very cool things, but they act like parks. Um, but, you know, different strange buildings you can find like on a campus. Also, I think this came with like an architectural... Oh, what pack was this? Art Deco? I think it might have been the Art Deco. It's a DLC technically, but I don't remember how... It was not It was like this weird little modder pack that you could get, but basically it comes with like an electric car factory, a technology center, research center, robotics institutes, all these different cool little, these buildings that would very much fit into this theme. They're very expensive, so for now I don't think we're gonna put those down, but let's pop, I'm gonna pop one of these biodomes down. It's kind of cool. Looks technology, you know, you could, you, it almost could be like um, an observatory or something, right? Very cool. And then just for, what does this look like? Right next to the university. That's actually kind of a cool little add on there. On either side like that. Makes it feel bigger, you know, like it expands. And then we're gonna obviously want walking paths all around here. And this is empty. So we can get rid of this, great. So let us sever this connection. I'm going to take this connection and, uh, hmm. how do we want to connect this over here now? If we don't connect it there. Cause realistically all we're doing is backing up traffic in this way. You know what we might want to do just for our purposes a little unorthodox. We double lane that. And I'm gonna go like this. Hmm. Okay, I have a solution, but I'm going to do this for now. Let's just go out. Oh, not there. It's about there. So that's gonna be another out. And then... Hmm. Oh, this is a little crazy. Let's double this as well. I'm gonna peel off Right about here, and I'm gonna go up. Uh, I don't wanna go up nine, just like that. I wanna go up, like maybe just to three, just to keep it gradual. Okay, and then I wanna go straight to nine. Okay, then I'm gonna go I see. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit to there. I'm gonna go down to three and just connect that up as like a path. Now this is gonna start to look very spaghetti, -y, spaghetti like. And I don't know if that's actually gonna be the the right move here. But what this does is it should once the traffic figures it out should allow like a direct path off of to the highway here. And I kind of don't want that to be a... I think that could be a stop sign for these people. And 
honestly, maybe this is an in or just an out. I don't know if anyone's going to use this. Well, no one's going to use this right now. So maybe what we do instead. Hmm. I don't really want to create another node on the roundabout. Okay, let's actually get rid of this. Hmm. Because so what we want to do is on this side, basically, right? What if... Go right this. It's a three. Cross. Take a curve tool. Go out to about there. Hmm. I actually want it to be like that. So let's try to make that happen. So let's see if we can just go like that. Mm. 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 Let me back this up a little bit. There, now we might be able to go Great that is what I'm after This might feel a little silly, but I think So let's go to three Get a perfect curve there. Mm. All right, let me try something else here. Can I get a little road in there? Great. Go down to three and then down. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so that should mean that now people coming on the highway have a direct access into the industrial park. I don't know if they're gonna use it, honestly. I don't know if they're gonna use it, but to me, it seems like it will be faster than going through this roundabout. So, if we can divert traffic off of here quicker, that would be a plus. Again, I don't know if it's going to be the case, but hopefully. But we'll have to test. We'll have to do more of that testing next time. But as you can see, just having a small area like this and how, how much it can affect traffic, you know? Yeah, it's quite fascinating. Traffic is, traffic is one of the hardest parts about this game, but very, very um, fun and, and challenging once you kind of get the hang of it. There are people using it now. We'll see. I think this may have become a traffic light again. But that's okay. Yeah, there's more people using it. That should help ease the, the, the use of this roundabout a bit. Cool. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We hit a milestone. Do we hit two milestones or just one? I don't even remember now. Well, we're going to keep expanding, keep learning, and keep getting better at this game in the next episode. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.